All right, so uh, this is the Garmin Echo Map UHD 93 SV with transducer. Uh, I got two of them at Bass Pro. They were $699, normally $1,049, so that was a really good price. I'm normally a Humminbird guy. They're kind of hard to find right now. Uh, these were available and a really good price, so I figured, you know, let's give them a try. Everybody's talking about live scope, and these are live scope compatible. Let's uh, let's open her up, see what's inside. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna see is a sun cover. The Humminbird makes you buy this separately. I'm already liking that. Here is the unit itself. Uh, we got a, we got a sticker. Everybody loves stickers, right? And a template for uh, a dash mount. Uh, I'm a tiller guy, so this is completely useless to me. I do believe that this is foam that you would put under your uh, mount. Um, this is a ferrite ring. These, basically, your power cable is essentially a gigantic antenna. You can pick up certain signals, especially if they're running close by to a uh, trolling motor cable. So this will help to eliminate any of that interference that might come in through your power wire. The gimbal mount. This really sold me on the garments. For security reasons, you can just pop your faceplate off, like the actual head unit off. And it's all just the, this one connection here. And then it's even got a boot to keep water from getting in while you're going down the road in the rain or whatever. And then you can leave all your connections plugged in. So here we've got a bag that's full of goodies. These are some wire clips. Um, I'm pretty sure that if you ran your wires like on the top of your dash, um, you could use this to cover the hole. This is the clip that goes around your power wire when it goes into the back of your unit. And here, this is a troll motor mount. I bought a Minn Kota transducer mount. I think I thought I needed one, but come to find out, Garmin gives you everything you need right in the box. Um, here is a piece. It looks like this is uh, if you were gonna mount your transducer on your transom, this would be the piece that you would screw into the transducer. Uh, here is the transom mount bracket for the transom itself, and here is the transducer. Big old brick. Um, but it doesn't look like it's too big. You know, like it should still fit on the power drive trolling motor. No problems. The only thing that's left is there's a, there's a transducer manual, a template for attaching it to your transom. There's the power wire. Comes with an inline fuse. And here's a manual. And that's all she wrote. Yeah, we're gonna be sticking this on the new boat here. Within the next couple days, so we will be doing a video on mounting transom mount and troll motor mounts on the SSV-18. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video and uh, you want me to keep making them and making similar videos, please uh, hit that like button and hit subscribe. And uh, thank you very much. We'll see you on the next one.